A Gettert who has ties to Larry Nassar has taken his own life, according to the state attorney general's office. Earlier today, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel charged John Gettert with 24 felony charges. Gettert was facing 14 counts of human trafficking, six counts of human trafficking of a minor, one count of first degree sexual conduct, and one count of second degree sexual assault, racketeering and lying to a peace officer. Michigan State Police telling us uh, troopers discovered his body at a rest stop off I-96 in Clinton Town, uh, County. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper just arriving on the scene there. He has the latest information on this. Rudy. Well, good evening to you from Lansing. This is the sheriff's office where Getter was supposed to turn himself over to authorities. Of course, he never made it here. And now we're having a clearer picture of what exactly unfolded. This is Chopper 7 video overhead that rest stop where Getter took his own life, according to authorities, this afternoon around 3.30. It's just off Interstate 96 and Wright Road exit. Multiple state police units shut down the rest stop to traffic as investigation continues to unfold at this hour. As we mentioned, the U.S. Olympic gymnastics coach had ties to Larry Nassar and it was charged with human trafficking, sexual assault and other felony charges by the state's attorney general's office. And late tonight, Attorney General Dana Nessel released a statement that reads, My office has been notified that the body of John Gettert was found late this afternoon after taking his own life. This is a tragic end to a tragic story for everyone involved. Now, ju we just spoke to a victim in the Larry Nasser case. Here's her reaction. It's, I mean, it's devastation on every level. And you, you, can, you can see that just, again, on every facet. The depth of abuse, the length of time it took to stop him. Gettard's abuse was never a secret. He should have been stopped decades ago. Um, now devastation for his family and devastation for the survivors who are not going to get their day in court. This investigation rapidly unfolding right now. Of course, we will have the latest tonight. Live in Lansing, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right, Rudy, thank you. And if you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. That number, 1-800-273-TALK. That number again, 1-800-273-8255.